Hey, this is another great video about Ricky Kennerly Cichlids. This video has been postponed for many months to allow some of the male peacocks to color up. What this video is about is an all-male dragon blood peacock aquarium. Now I've been transferring peacocks to this aquarium over the several months. Now let me tell you a little bit, uh, some people know these secrets, but there's a, a certain way you need to do this. If you're transferring your fish from aquarium to aquarium and they're peacocks, and you know where they're going, the destination's aquarium, you need to have the lights off from the beginning of the day. And if there is uh, natural sunlight or room light that gets into the aquarium, you might want to put trash can trash bags around the aquarium to keep it dark. When you transfer the fish into that aquarium, they're going to be in sleep mode. And so they're not going to have any anxiety and stress and territorial battles. If you let that go for 24 hours, there'll be great chance of success for your transfer and you won't have any transfer loss. When I say transfer loss, a lot of times when you're moving males into a male, all male aquarium, there can be some epic uh, peacock battles and that results in some of the death of your fish so if you take them and put them in there where they're in sleep mode and for 24 hours by the time they wake up the next day uh, or the maybe even two days from then uh, they'll be adjusted they'll accept them as a fish that was supposed to be in the aquarium and they're adjusting as they first wake up out of sleep instead of just being plopped into the aquarium so that's just a little bit of a tip for this video. Uh, we're going to go straight and look at these awesome colored up dragon bloods. And there's even a few icebreakers in there, but they're a little bit, a little bit slower to color up. So let's get to it and check out those fish. So I'm first going to show you an overall view of what's in the aquarium. <clears throat> you see some of the dragon bloods are looking great. There's an OB in here. There's a few uh, icebreakers that haven't really fully colored up so you can't tell the full coloration of an icebreaker. But let's check out some of those amazing dragon bloods. Here's the OB. He's the boss of the tank. He's been getting into a battle with a few of my fish recently. No deaths. The loach has been here for years before it was a peacock aquarium, so he stayed. These dragon bloods are coloring up, but it takes a lot longer in an all male situation. That one's got a little bit of yellow in it, so it is an icebreaker mix, but it was an icebreaker mix with a sunset peacock. So that could be another amazing uh, peacock fish. Now, some people say you shouldn't have, don't need caves in a peacock aquarium. I completely disagree. I think to lower your aggression, uh, peacocks really can use and utilize caves. There's two caves in here plus some logs to hide under. If you see right here, this is a perfect example of a bicolor lab. I won't let it swim back this way in just a minute and you'll get a better look at it. But this is an amazing color. Look at that dragon blood. Look at that. Here's another one. Looking good. Now this one's a little bit more orange. Some of them have some pink in them. And look at this bicolor lab. Amazing specimen of the bicolor labs. Yellow on top, white on the bottom. It's a Mabuna cichlid, Labicomus. Amazing specimen.
Now I am going to be showing you what I feed these fish, this all-male peacock aquarium. If you want them to color up fast and to grow fast, uh, the food that I feed them is very important. You can color them up very fast. Look at that guy. Is he just not great? All these are going to be exceptional. They all came from the Starburst line. If you don't know who Starburst is as far as my fish, you need to check out who that is. So let's do some feeding action. The food I'm about to feed these fish is artificial crab meat. It's inexpensive and you can get it at most grocery stores in the meat department. I want you to see how they just tear into this. There you go. Chunking it up. Just tearing into it. Really love it. It has paprika in there for coloration. Anchovies, pollock fish, lobster, crab. They just go crazy for it. They tear it up. Look at them go. Finding out where it's at. Look at that one right there with a the big chunk in its mouth. Look around down here. They see it. They get it down there at the bottom. It's like eating a, a live fish but it doesn't swim. The nutrition from it is exceptional. Uh, it may increase your growth rate of your peacock cichlids. And there will be less waste in your aquarium from feeding this type of food. The reason being is when they eat this food, it doesn't come out their gills. Uh, what they eat uh, goes into the stomach and is digested. Let's put a little bit more in there. Look at him just tearing it up. Now this food has made some amazing results throughout my fish rooms. My fish are more healthy. The water quality is better. They are coloring up better and they are breeding better. And as you know, when the females hold their fry in their mouth, they don't eat for up to 20 to 30 days. And this helps them recover from that fasting a lot faster. Now, if you notice, let me zoom in. You notice some of the icebreaker uh, type fish have some really good red coming out on them. Now if they were in, a, in an aquarium with uh, all females besides the male, they would color up a lot faster. In an all male aquarium, it takes a lot longer for your peacocks to color up. You have to be very patient. The balancing act is not necessarily anything that you can adjust to keep the aggression low. But if you're breeding uh, peacock cichlids, I would recommend to have at least one all male peacock aquarium so you can color up all your favorite fish and see what they look like as an adult size. Now we're going to take a quick look at Starburst so you'll know what some of these dragon bloods will look like when they fully color up. So this is the Starburst Aquarium and they know they're about to be fed so I'm going to put some food in there. I want you to see them eat Get a closer look at Starburst. 
Starburst is an amazing fish. Look at them go for that piece of crab meat. Absolutely amazing how they just tear it up. You see Starburst has a big mouthful there. He's a amazing stud. He's got white lips. He's got a lot of like star uh, star sapphire features like the little glinting scales if you get a good look at them. Get a little closer look. You see the crab meat? He's going for it in there. And he's got glints. Look at him. He's just tearing it up. So that's what the amazing uh, Dragon Bloods in the Grow Out tank is going to look like. The all male aquarium will be looking like him. There'll be a little bit different variations throughout the fish. But you can see all my peacocks just love that crab meat. This has also been uh, what I would say is uh, room. 3.5 because there's only really two aquariums in this uh, room. Uh, both of them were previously maintained by my dad. Look at that amazing fish. That Starburst. Amazing, amazing looking fish. Now he's going to be the father of the Dragon, Dragon Knight Peacocks. If you've not seen the video on the Dragon Knight Peacocks, I uh, would make sure you check that out. Uh, the cross is between him and OBs. They're now growing up. The first stage is. So thanks again for watching this amazing video. If you enjoyed this just somewhat, or a super amount, especially the feeding part of it, give it a thumbs up. I like to have thumbs up on my peacock videos. It helps me out. It helps me share the videos on YouTube. It shows your support. And if you don't want to leave a thumbs up, leave a comment. Those help too. It really helps out. They all add, it all adds up. But thanks again for watching Ricky County Cichlids. Make sure to give me a thumbs up. Thank you.